I can tell you, last year, we had a really a major event happen in August when I was out here working on the wild rice, and it was August 23rd, and it was the last calm, blue sky day, hot though, but calm as can be. The water didn't have a ripple. I was right in this marsh over here in the boat with a group of the college students. We had just finished collecting wild rice seeds, and I was trying to get a, a rail to answer my clapping call because the sores often will answer in the rice to a loud, sharp clap. And just at that moment, I hear this distant rumbling sound, and it sounded like cars or jets at Andrews Air Force Base, which is just a few miles away. And then that sound grew, and I said, you all hear something? And then I looked at the water, and I saw ripples on the surface of the glass calm water, and then little fish were jumping, mummachogs, little minnows that were leaping out of the water. And, and then the marsh grass, the cattails, all tall and green, started moving and swaying, and I said, wow, and then air bubbles, methane gas bubbles rising from the bottom, and all at once, the whole marsh began to sway back and forth, and I said, earthquake, I said, can you believe it, and we're all looking for 20 seconds, the cattails vibrated like this, back and forth, violently vibrating, and you're watching the ripples come across the surface of the water, the waves, and you'd see the fish just jumping out, and then thousands of red-winged blackbirds that were in the wild rice feeding all were flushed out and were circling in the sky all around us, and you looked around everywhere. You look now, you see no birds, very few birds in the sky, but man, the sky was full of, of, of thousands of blackbirds. It was something, a spectacle I'll, I'll never forget after witnessing that. And then as it, I was kind of watching and timing it, the cattails, and when it's windy, they just kind of sway and blow like this, sway and blow, but and then come back. These were going as fast as my hand is shaking. It was like this, vibrating, like a giant bowl of pudding was shaking. All this mud and sediment, 30, 40 feet of it, was shaking under the hard rock substrate below, and it was just going back in this very rhythmic shaking pattern, and uh, those cattails doing that, and you could just hear this, the buzzing sound of all the cattail leaves rushing together, like that. It was uh, The whole thing was uh, very eerie and strange to witness, and then it ended, and we watched for the next hour as we were heading back the gas bubbles were just rising from the bottom all these methane gas bubbles released from the from the mud so we were in a fantastic place to witness this you know but it was but it was spread out over a wide area from mineral virginia a couple of hours from here up and down the, the mid-atlantic coast it, they they seem to spread much more because of the rock Obviously, the rock and the geology is much different than in California. So these, this thing was felt over a much wider area than most California earthquakes are. And as a 5.8, it was a 5.8 uh, uh, tremor.